Hey everybody, today we are going to learn how to add animations to a Google Slides slideshow. With animations, you can make objects and text move or appear onto a slide or off of a slide. It takes a little work to set up animations, but once you get it going, it's awesome. So let's get started. Okay, so what we have here is a basic slideshow called About Me. And as the title suggests, this slideshow has some info about me and it contains text and images. So it's a complete slideshow and we've even got a cool cube transition between the slides and it looks pretty good. But we're going to add some object animations to really bring this slideshow to life. So let's go ahead and start with the very first slide. Now right now, if I start the presentation, it's just going to show this slide exactly the way that we see it here. But I'd like to try animating both this text and the photo of me. So the first step to get into animating objects is to open the transition panel. And we do that by clicking on transition in the toolbar right here, transition. And here's the transition panel where we can add transitions to any object on this slide or to the slide itself. So let's take a look at the different parts of this panel. Now this top section is for the slide transition itself. That's what it looks like when you change from one slide to the next. And you can see that we already decided on the cube transition, which we already chose for all the slides. And you can click on the arrow to see the details and make changes about different kinds of transitions. But we'll leave that alone right now. now. Down below is the object animations section. And this is where we can animate our text and objects. And you might see this text here that says select an object to animate. If you see this text, you can't animate any object until you select one. So on this slide, I have three objects I can select. The about me text, my name and my photo. So I'm going to start with my photo. And you can see that when I've selected the photo, that select an object to animate text goes away. And now I can click on the add animation button. So now we have a new section where we can decide how the animation is going to look. So let's take a look at this section. First of all, you'll notice that there's a little icon of the photo right here that lets us know which object we're making an animation for. And this fade in on click tells us what kind of animation this is. So that's right, we already have an animation for this photo. Google Slides automatically chooses this kind of animation every time. So what is the animation? Well, let's take a quick look by going into presentation mode. We click on the slideshow button and wait a minute, where's the photo? Well, do you remember that the animation type is fade in on click? That means that we have to click to see the animation. So you can click the mouse, trackpad, or your spacebar to see it. I'm going to tap my spacebar and there it is. That's the fade in animation. The photo gradually fades into view. Okay, so now I'm going to exit presentation mode by tapping on the escape key. And let's take a closer look at the options that we can choose for this animation. Now you can see that we have two fields. One says fade in and one says on click. And that's why it says fade in on click above. And that's where we can change this right here in these fields. If you click on fade in, you get a drop down menu of all the different types of animations that are available. And to better understand this list, you should know that some of these animations are to move the object onto the slide and some are to move it off of the slide. So for example, you have an animation for appear and you have an animation for disappear. You have an animation for fade in and you have an animation for fade out. You have a whole group of animations for fly in and you have a group of animations for fly out zoom in, zoom out. And then there's one animation called spin, and that doesn't actually make the object move on or off. It just makes the object spin. So let's go ahead and try one of these other animations and we can see what happens. I'm gonna try zoom in. Now, one thing you should know about creating animations 
is that you can preview your slide animations without going into present mode just by clicking on this play button. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there's the slide. And remember, I need to click to make the animation play. And there's the zoom in. Cool. Now I'll just click on stop to get out of the preview mode. Now, one thing that I am finding a little annoying is that I don't want to have to click to see that animation. I just want the photo to zoom in without any waiting. So to change that, I'm going to click on the field that says on click, and that brings up the options for when the animation happens. And you can see three choices, on click, after previous, and with previous. Now we know what on click means. We have to click to make the presentation happen. After previous means that the animation will automatically play right after the previous animation or transition. With previous means that the animation will play at the same time as the previous animation transition. Now that's going to make a little more sense after we create some more animations. But for right now, let's go ahead and choose after previous. Now let's preview the animation by clicking on the play button. And there it is. The animation plays automatically right after the slide appears. Now the last option for your object animation is the speed of the animation, which is controlled by this slider. I'm actually pretty happy with the speed of the animation right now, but let's just see what happens when we make it slower. So I'll move the slider over to the slow area It'll actually show you how many seconds the animation will last. And I'll click on play. Whoa, that is very slow. And that might be good for some things, but I think that it was good the way it was. So I'll click on stop and move the slider back to where it was. Okay, so let's try animating another object on this slide. Remember, we've also got the about me text plus my name. So I'm going to select about me by clicking on it. And you can see that again, we've got the add animation button in the animation panel. So if we click on that, Google Slides gives us that same fade in on click animation by default. And if we preview the animation, there's no about me until I click. And then the about me text fades in. So let's change that. I'll click on stop to get out of preview mode. And then let's go straight to the animation options. First of all, Let's try a different kind of animation. Instead of fade in, how about fly in from top? And then instead of on click, let's make this happen automatically so that we don't have to wait. So the other options are after previous and with previous. So I'm going to try after previous and let's preview this to see what happens. Okay, so there's the photo and there's about me flying in from the top right after. That's pretty cool. Okay, so the last thing I wanna do is animate my name. So I'll click on my name to select it, click on the add animation button, and then maybe I'll try fly in from bottom. And I think that I'd like to try animating my name at the same time as the about me text. So this time I'll choose with previous. That means that the name animation will happen at the same time as the previous animation, which is the about me zooming in. And let's preview that. And there it is. The about me and my name fly in at exactly the same time. All right. So what if we want to change the order of the animations? I'm thinking that I would like the text to be first, and then my photo zooms in with a big reveal of what I look like. Well, the good news is that it's really easy to change the order of your animations. So first I'm gonna click on the arrow next to my last animation so that you can really see the animations in order. Right now the photo animation is first and then the two text animations after that. If I want to move the photo animation last, I just click on these dots that look like a little waffle. I click, hold, and drag down to where I want it. And there it is now at the bottom. And if we preview that, the photo zooms in at the end. I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the animations 
for the next slide, basic info. And for this one, I'll also do a combination of fly in and zoom in. And I'm speeding things up here a bit so you can obviously work at your own pace. And I encourage you just to experiment and figure out what you like. One thing that I'll mention about the animation types is that you do have all of these animations for moving objects off the slide, fade out, fly out from top, fly out from left, zoom out. And just because you add an animation to make an object move onto the slide, it doesn't mean that you have to add an animation for moving it off of the slide. I usually just let the objects stay on the slide and then I move on to the next slide. And usually that looks fine for me. Okay, so I'll just finish up animations for all of the slides. And then let's take a look at the finished product. That looks pretty good. So I think we've got a great slideshow that really pops with the animations. Now animations are not required and most people don't use them actually, but they do help to make your slideshow more visually interesting if that's what you're going for. So that's it for animations in Google Slideshows. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I really appreciate you joining me and watching this video. Have fun creating and thanks for watching.